What's up, what's up, what's up, good people? Uh, shall we talk about it? Let's talk about it. Now on the Carcino for Life Patreon, I want to say thank you yet again for um, making the page what it is. We just updated some explosive, never before told information about LeBron James. And it was quite entertaining for some who never knew this information. And we bring up the evidence of proof. And all I could say to you is you're welcome. Now, if everyone else hit the like button coming through the door, and let's get to it. In Michigan, in the NBA, many players should have heard about this secret. They should have heard about this untold, told, not secret, but story of the NBA. Now, Here we go. Let's get to the gist of it. Sorry about that. Dogs bark. Uh, let's get to it. Now, the rest of you didn't understand, but I'll set it out clear. Um, the story is Charlie Bell. Charlie Bell is... One of the players that, man, I'm just looking at this. This is not right, but I'll take care of that later. Charlie Bell is one of the professional athletes of the story that you've heard about but couldn't believe. Charlie Bell is one of the high school standouts from Flint. Uh, went to Michigan State. Everybody's like, this kid's going to the NBA. He's got to have a promising career. He won a national championship in 2000. And he's ready for the 2001 NBA draft. Now, Charlie Bell ends up having children and marrying the girl he fell in love with. Which was a model slash engineer slash very smart, intelligent woman by the name of Kenya Howard. Kenya Howard was a knockout. And she was. She was someone who was incredibly talented. She was somebody who was uh, multifaceted at what she did. Now, Miss Michigan, as she won the, the actual prize of Miss Michigan, they fell in love because Charlie Bell didn't even get drafted, which was a surprise. He thought he would at least go in the later rounds, but was picked up by the Phoenix Suns and given a chance after the draft, of course, which means he ha he didn't have a guaranteed NBA contract or NBA life. Now, while Mary, the whole NBA knew, they couldn't really hang out with Charlie like that. Charlie wasn't someone who was making 
doo doo dumb dollars in the NBA. He was making very good money to play basketball, but to the average NBA player, he was not like balling out of control. So his friends would treat the younger players out, you know, like, hey, let's go out and get something to eat. Let's do these, do, you know, just the norm. But his problem that he had was the wife. You know, people love to blame the woman for everything and make the woman out to be the bad person. But I don't know if it was bad or just smart on her part. But she literally would lock him out of the house if he was not home at said time. This man was paying the bills and she's locking him out of his home. He don't have a key to his house. She controls when he comes in and out of the house. I swear to God. I swear for God, he never would she would never give him a key. And his money? Oh no. She controlled the money of the household so they could pay bills and everything else. She went through all his finances, looking at discrepancies, all of it. And tell him, what did you do here? What did you do there? I gave you enough money. She was controlling, but I don't blame her. Mm -mm. That man gave her permission. Charlie Bell gave his wife permission to treat him that way. Now, here's the main problem. Charlie was going to hang out with some friends. He told his wife that they were at practice. I wish they were. He was at practice. Now, he's a journeyman. And that yeah, means he can literally be traded the next day. So when he got to Milwaukee, everybody was like assuming, okay. He's in Milwaukee. The situation is looking like this is what it's going to be. So while he's in Milwaukee, he's uh, going to hang out with some friends after the game. Uh, they went to practice, and practice was called that day. They get to practice, and coaches who was running the practice said, you know what? You guys were so sharp. You guys came in on time. I just want to say, go in jail the rest of your day. Enjoy your two days. Because we got two days off. I wanted to come in for a quick practice and shoot around and this and that. You know, you guys got a big win the other night and no practice for the rest of the day. You know, see, you enjoy your two days. It was like telling a kid he was off for the weekend. They ran out there ecstatic. And when they went out there, they were like, bat, ran all the way out, started to party. So now everybody is like, oh my God, I can't believe this went down. And they're all excited. She is unaware and he's unaware I mean he knows she's unaware and allegedly there is a female that is you know I and him Charlie's been talking to her every time he goes to like this place to go eat or whatever she's there so Charlie and this woman are speaking to one another 
and Charlie must forget who he's married to. <laughs> this woman will find it out. You have to know your wife. If you're unhappy, just leave. Because this woman will find it out and she will cripple you. She would spy on him to see which way he goes. And she followed him into the house, crawled through the second story window, and went at the, the girl he was messing with with a box cutter. And she cut Charlie <laughs> and everything with this box cut. His wife did that. Because she knew my husband's too happy. Something's wrong. I'm not going to be at home with two kids while he out doing what he's going to do. But like I told you in the beginning, she's a smart woman. While she had Charlie under her thumb, she also got him to sign a prenuptial agreement to make sure she gets half of everything. And she gets part of his NBA retirement 401k plan and his pension. Any investments, savings, the list goes on. After their divorce, she would still get half. And if he ever cheated, all of this would go to her. Desperate to obey his wife, he signed it. So she made his life a living hell so that he would want to go cheat. Didn't I tell you she was smart? She has a degree and is a licensed engineer. She engineered this. She got near $3 million, not including his retirement plans, uh, another 1000 in child support. He was whipped. He was completely whipped. There's nothing he could do. Whipped into submission. So, the kids and child support, they, she was getting $1,000 a month, which isn't a lot. But she's got like $3 million out of him from his tenure at Plain. He was only a journeyman. They divorced in 2012. So now it doesn't seem like a lot of money, but she gets money from his pension and his 401k accounts. Any investments that they had, even though that they're divorced, she still gets half of it. He cheated. Her private detective that she, she hired with his money proved it. And they settled. So what have you learned here today, boys and girls? We learned a very valuable lesson. Mostly everybody in the NBA knows the Charlie Bell story. If you give somebody access of your life, your career, your everyday movements,
Expect these results. Expect these outcomes. Expect the worst. At all times. Anyway, I wanted to thank everybody for the super chats yesterday. I appreciate it tremendously. And I want to say thank you to everyone out there who has made this a tremendous tremendous time um, this past week has been challenging but you've made it very very exciting I look forward to speaking to you guys every day I want to say thank you again to uh, at Kwame Brown Bus Life for continuously showing support to the page and Bus Life Sports News. Don't forget to subscribe to his two pages. And Jose Rodriguez, thank you for coming by. Welcome to HD with the Two Eyes TV. <laughs> thank you for showing support, being loyal. Everybody, Nicholas Jacobs, Detroit T, I mean, everybody. Chaz, Giz, everybody who stopped by. Appreciate it. You guys hold it down. April, thank you. Everybody in the cash app. So, yeah, you want to donate to the page, just, uh, you can just do what it says in the banner below. And tell me, what did you think about this situation? Was she crazy? Or was she smart? Yeah, she got charged with trying to to cut him with that doggone box cut. <laughs> oh, but she cut him in court. Oh, did she cut him in court. Well, for the LeBron news, you got to go to the Patreon. And oh, buddy, is it accurate. And it's shocking. I don't I wonder if LeBron knows. Hmm. That's a very good question. I do wonder if he knows. I'm out.